I would say that our homeschool style is definitely a mix of Montessori, Waldorf, and unschooling. So I guess you can say we're eclectic. Do, 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 do. The eclectic homeschooling style is one where you draw from different styles and approaches of learning in order to shape and customize the type of learning that you want to have happen in your home. Now there are certain styles that probably won't work as well with each other, but then there are others that are certainly very complementary to one another. And for us, that is unschooling, Montessori, and Waldorf. Now I'm going to share with you exactly how we blend those different styles together. Unschooling for us is like the overarching style that drives a lot of what we do in our homeschool. And I like to think of it as a mindset that very much guides the way that we play and explore and do all of the different learning tasks throughout our day. What did you realize? Look, look, just listen. It changes. As unschoolers, we're always open to new ideas and different explorations of things, and we're also very invitational of the children to ask a lot of questions. The cool thing about that is that a lot of their questions do lead them into projects and areas of interest. Recently, my oldest took an interest in cursive handwriting, which is something that I didn't think she would be interested in or would have the capacity to learn now. But we have found ourselves diving headfirst into it because she really took an interest in that. So is this the background to your story? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Holding There's two. Only the puppets uh -huh. and they're all gonna be flying. This is the, this is the bully's house. Yeah. This is the bear's house. Okay. This is the squirrel's house. Right oh, that's there. the squirrel. Okay. I have seen the kids really evolve in their interest with building things and creating things. And so one thing that I'm doing now is designing a unit study around architecture. So their interests and inquiries very much lead to things like that where we can really dig into a topic with a little bit more depth than perhaps we would if we were just following a curriculum. And curriculum is certainly something that we definitely use as unschoolers, but the place of curriculum has changed and the way that we view curriculum has definitely changed. The role of curriculum before we started to unschool was that it was the thing that defined our homeschool, that defined the success of our homeschool and defined what we were going to learn in our homeschool. And now the way that we view curriculum is that it's more supplementary to all of the things that we're learning and doing in our homeschool. In a lot of ways, unschooling works really well with Montessori and Waldorf. And that is because those philosophies and styles of schooling are very much based in a child's interests and they're very much child-led. We have just started implementing a lot of Montessori approaches to learning different concepts and skills, especially in math and reading. Can you find the picture that starts with the sound K? What I love about Montessori specifically so far is that it really does give the opportunity for the child to become very independent and an agent of their learning. That's something that in my personal homeschool philosophy, I really wanted my kids to have. I wanted them to have a love of learning and to be very independent when it came to their learning. The way that we do things now is I will introduce an activity to each child that is age appropriate. And after a few times of us doing it together, they understand how it works and then they're able to take what they have learned and what we have done together and then they go and they practice and they do it themselves. This has been great because a lot of times each individual child likes to have their time with me and we will often read a book or cuddle and sing songs together or something like that and the other kids have opportunities to go and explore and they know how to use the tools to practice different skills. Waldorf and Montessori often get talked about in the same vein, and they do have some similarities in terms of definitely play and exploration, but Waldorf is a lot more based in a child's creativity, their imagination, and really tapping into those things early on. With Montessori, it's definitely a little bit more concrete and based in practical life, and they do discourage things like fantasy and imagination. In terms of creativity, we're definitely more 
on the side of Waldorf. Throughout the day, I really like to give my kids opportunities to be creative, whether it's with writing or drawing or even painting and sculpting. And that is something that I value as an artistic person myself. One thing that I have loved so far for the past couple of months are these sunrise journals. And these are things that my kids will do on a daily basis. Normally, I try to encourage them to do it first thing in the morning because the idea behind it is that they would turn on their brains to be a little bit observant about themselves, about things that they might be thinking about, and also their environment. Sometimes my children will go outside and do their journals, and basically it's just an open-ended creative space where they can draw, color, write, anything that they desire, and it, it really gets them motivated to start the process of exploration for the day. Storytelling is definitely a huge part of the way children learn through the Waldorf philosophy and style. So there are definitely times where if I feel confident in, in knowledge that I have that I can share with them, I use the process of storytelling to convey information to them about something that I might know. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I'm so glad that I got to share with you some of the new styles and philosophies that we've been adopting in our homeschool that's really made for a wonderful home learning experience. If you are interested in any of the styles that I touched on in this video, there's so much to learn and I have linked for you below a special playlist that I put together of all the videos that have really helped me along my journey of exploring different things that would work really well for me and my family. If you have gotten value from this content, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a great big thumbs up, a like. That lets me know that you enjoy this content. And if you're interested, I have a few more videos right here that you might like. So please be sure to check those out as well. Have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one.